Ken Ramsey, back to make another run at an owner's title at Keeneland. But first, we want to talk about uh, your filly in the Central Bank Ashland Stakes. Um, that is, uh, thank you, Mary Lou. Yes. Uh, in honor of Mary Lou Whitney, correct? Correct, correct. Tell us that story. Well, uh, my wife had a stroke a little over seven years ago, a very devastating stroke, and uh, unconscious, uh, totally out of it. And I was trying to figure out who I knew that could get me the best hospital, the best treatment. So we just won the Whitney Stakes up there not long before that, and I became friends, uh, distant friends, with uh, John Hendrickson, Mary Lou's husband. And I had his telephone number, so he said, if you ever need anything, give me a call. So anyway, I called him, and uh, it just so happened that his wife had had a, had a stroke. That's why I called him. So uh, it wasn't as debilitating as Catherine's was. But anyway, uh, John sent a plane, his own private plane, NetJet, uh, told me I could have it, the doctor and everything, and flew the doctor from California to Florida. And uh, he treated my wife, uh, could have made the difference, and one never knows, but she's still with us. And uh, so we bought this Birdstone filly, and uh, everybody thought she was going to be super. She trained well and all that, so I uh, thought we would, uh, at the last minute, name her Thank You, Mary Lou. And it turns out that she's uh, running three stake races. Uh, won two of them and uh, was second in the Adirondack grade two at Saratoga. So she's a very nice filly and uh, Mike Maker trains her and we're looking forward to the action stakes with her out here and possibly the Oaks. Tell me about her last race uh, in early March down at Gulfstream. Well, I wasn't there. I was out of town, but uh, she won very impressively. Uh, my grandson was down there to lead her in. Uh, and, and wasn't expected to win that way. Uh, Todd Pletcher had some good horses, at least some good horses in the stake race. But uh, what was nice, she pulled off at the end and won like a good horse. Was, what about uh, the transfer to poly track? Any issue? Uh, Mike says that she trains just as well on it as she does on the dirt. So we were trying to pick up the grade one with her out here and make her a super broodmare prospect, but she certainly won't mind the dirt over the Oaks if we make it over there. And as she wins out here or runs second, we'll get enough points to get in. So that's the ultimate goal, take her to Churchill Downs on the Oaks Day. Distance not a concern at all? No, don't sure. think so at all. She's by Birdstone, good distance factor, uh, good looking, good looking filly. Uh, what about her ability to, depending on where she would draw, to, you know, tactical ability does she need to be up on the front can she kind of come from anywhere i don't think there's any problem with it i mean uh she very versatile so she's got some tactical speed i think the jockey can position her where everyone's position her what just uh, to do mary lou proud again she caught i found out she won i was in barbados when she won so um then i had to win the barbados gold cup so the first call i got i was sitting at the polo game and it was john hendrickson and mary lou on the phone said oh. congratulations we're looking forward to watching you lead her in I said, sorry about that. My grandson's going to lead her in. <laughs> well, they can watch you maybe at, uh, at Keeneland. Yes, I'm sure they will watch. They've taken a personal interest in the fact that she was named for Ms. Whitney. Uh, tell me what stands out uh, about this, this filly, just in terms of uh, other great fillies you had. What's unique uh, about her? What's special? Well, I have never had a filly that all three of her races have been in stake races. You usually start a filly off in a maiden race. But in her case, we thought she was good enough. She's a Virginia bred. So uh, she won't get the Kentucky Thoroughbred Development Fund money, but we started her off at Colonial Downs because of that. And uh, she won her first race over our stake race. Of course, the next one was up at Saratoga. So uh, I don't see any point in running an allowance race as long as she can handle the stakes competition. I Absolutely. guess it spells it out. <laughs> good enough. Well, uh, good luck. Thank you very much.